Abuhai, welcome to my channel. You're here with KK Kathy, and today I want to show you the DIY I did last week for my nails. Yes, girl, I haven't been to a nail salon lately. Um, ever since this pandemic happened, yeah, I never I've been trying to just do my nails on my own. And plus, girl, we're saving money here, and you do your own designs, so mm, yeah, so as you can see in the screen. I'm prepping my cuticles. I use a cuticle remover. This one is actually from Bobby, and this is a Philippines brand, so you probably won't be able to see it in Amazon. Um, but you can use any cuticle remover. So some people actually use a drop. I like to use whatever the scoop from the um, cuticles. Uh, what do you call that? Like stick. <laughs> um, so. You know just a scoop and put it over sometimes the people likes to put it just on the side i like to put it all over it because i want the whole thing to be really soft and easy to clean out as you can see here this is the reason main reason why i use the cuticle remover on the whole nail because i scrape it from um, mainly on the sides of course and then a little bit on the middle and then i also use a nipper I, I like using this but if you're not um, used to using this you can always just keep using your electric you know um, cuticle remover or just use the pusher the reason why I like using this nipper is sometimes you know you get those ingram <laughs> and yeah girl this is the easiest way to get them out and kind of help you know the style of your nails as well if you're not really careful on using this you can actually cut yourself so I highly recommend not to use it if you're not used to it but if you are and you don't care getting blood all over your fingers or skin then go ahead and use it then I use a nail file but not as hard it's just a really soft touch just to help out smooth the nails and you know it'll be a lot easier to do the prepping afterwards this item is from Azure Beauty and I got it from Amazon and this is a nail prep and also a nail primer. So honestly I haven't been using this, this is my first time to use this and um, oh my god I'm actually surprised. This YouTuber right here down below is someone that says if you do this and use this before you use the poly gel it will actually help and make this stay longer. So right now my poly gel stays for two weeks now and it looks amazing and stays in place so good so that's a plus <laughs> something I learned by myself well not not by myself but after watching her <laughs> so you should go and visit her she also does a good designs and lots of tutorials about poly gel nails next item is the base coat from Coachella and I don't know if I said that right but after this I will cure my nails and this is basically the prep for the poly gel and then this stickers I'm so sorry I didn't really went through this because when I was doing it I couldn't do the camera right so apparently it didn't shoot it right so next time I'll show you guys how to use that as well so this is basically a set this poly gel that I'm using is the same brand Coachella or Coachella <laughs> however you want to say it but I also got this in Amazon and it's actually a set so even the brush it comes with the poly gel this is a poly gel with like um, temp change so you'll see that it's pink right now but later on on the final one it's actually going to be white um, as you can see I'm kind of pressing it on and the brush is actually dipped in slip solution so that's how it's actually doing the design you will see that it kind of had a bubble there so what I had to do is to put something over it and uh, more gel into it and pop that bubble because <laughs> honestly it's gonna look ugly if you have that bubble there make sure that you're just not close to the skin because I noticed that that's also one of the problems I was having when I did this because they don't stay and then the water gets into your finger to the poly gel and it just opens it up and 
it breaks it. Remember, I'm not a professional nail technician, so... And that's what I figured. How much easier to do it this way. Alright, so if after I finalize all five of them, that's when I file them out. I mainly filed the sides because remember we used that sticker to make it um, to make the extension. So this is the one I really really love using ever since I tried this. This is some rhinestone glue and oh my gosh it will make any rhinestones or anything that you want to put on your nails on top of uh, the poly gel or maybe acrylic as well will stay like honestly it will stay it won't budge after you cure it of course you have to cure it you know and so this is what I thought of using it's like a leaf it's very thick and it's not it's not sitting there right on your nails so what I did is I put a little bit of the glue and then after curing it I put more on it now I have to cure it again of course to make it stay so the next one this it's really funny because I have a funny story about this I tried dipping this before into my nails and that didn't work because it made so much holes on the poly gel nail and it's just ugly so I have to do it one by one and um, as you can see this cuticle remover actually have um, it actually have the little hook and I put a little bit of the glue gel on it so it can kind of stick to it but I was slowly putting it in on the spaces on my nails and then I cured it well don't forget that I also put the glue and then I cured it again and then I put more glue on top of it just to make it sit there even better of course I have to cure it and this is what it looks like after yes it is pink right now because it's like hot coming out from the um, from curing and then now I'm putting the top coat this is also from the Coachella and it will make it really pop because the shininess and gel like image that we want to see will come out and of course after this you're gonna have to cure it one more time so funny story what I tried the last time is honestly I didn't put another layer of poly gel on top of the first one that I did and it was so ugly <laughs> it didn't feel right so by doing this you're actually putting more secureness on the nails on the design all right so the next one will be the final look as well that's the second look as you saw earlier it was pink and now it's white and i hope you enjoyed this one i hope to see you again in my next video please don't forget to subscribe and like bye